Hey everybody, Jessica here, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to work with these brushes, and especially the copy and paste brush charts. So I've got the Essentials pack open here, and that has all of your chart of all the different brushes, and them pre-colored, which is super helpful for your workflow. So um, I'm just going to do this demonstration with the Essentials, but if you have the Mega Pack, you will have... Um, all of your different brush sizes in different documents here. You'll have your medium, your long, your extra long, um, all separate. But I'm just going to work within the essentials to show you the basics here today. And I went ahead and created another artboard so I can just do it alongside these brush strokes. And your brush library and the essentials will look something like this. You'll have all the colorizing strokes here, but we just ignore them for right now. And then all of your main brush strokes. And you'll have, if you hover over it, you'll have the first one, the short one, the medium one, the long one, the extra long one, and so forth for all the different brushes. And you can just, um, the first thing you can do is just take these brushes and start playing with them. You just touch a brush, get your paintbrush tool, and this is the small one. And I'm going to zoom in here a little bit so you can get a good view of this. Zoom into 100%. And you'll just see you paint as easy as that. And now I made four different sizes so that because these are um, image brushes and I made four different sizes to cover all of your needs. And what's cool though is you can really use any brush for any size. But I made four sizes so that no matter what size your brush length, because these are art brushes, that you won't lose some of that detail. But it also just gives you lots of different effects. So I'm working with a short brush here. And I like to just generally use this on pretty shortish strokes, but there's no limit, you know, like you can make it a really a quite a short stroke. Um, if you go like certain super short, it'll look a little funny, but just general short strokes. You could even do long and it looks amazing. So it's not like you have to only use it on short strokes. It's going to pull out that really cool um, stroke effect. And so really you can just use it however you like, but as you see, once you stretch it out a little bit, um, it makes a really cool different effect, but you don't have some of the details on there. But really, it's just absolutely amazing. So that's the short one. Let's do the medium one here. And the medium is great for showing those details at just a like a size like this. But again, you can make it quite sh uh, short and you'll have a little bit more um, bumpy. You know, it squeezes it all in there. Let me undo that. Or you can go long and it'll stretch it out. So it's not that you can't use it, it's just what brush is best for you. For this one, perhaps, I might want to put my extra long on and you see all that detail is back. So it's really cool. So there really is a brush for all occasions. And the sizes basically relate to this. So you've got, you know, your short, your medium, your long, and then your extra long. And the extra longs are really good for like, maybe you want to do, play around and maybe make some letters. And, uh, okay, that looks kind of crabby, but something like that. And you want to make a little A or something. So you can just do something like that. Um, but yeah, so there's a brush for every occasion. You've got four sizes. Use them however you want. But what's cool is that It'll still work. It's just um, even if you use a, let's say, a short brush on or a long brush on something short or the other way around. But um, yeah, you, so you just get tons of different effects and they just look beautiful. Like you couldn't, this would just take you, you couldn't really make something like this um, easily. You know, it's just not possible. So I wanted these to be fantasies, you know, like you can just make these things that are quite amazing. Um, this is just nothing more than a brush stroke. It looks awesome and uh, just have fun with it. So in other videos, I'll go through and show you the practical use of how you can really get the best out of using this um, brush system. And the copy and paste brush charts, why they're really important is because I have already set these up and pre-colored them so that you can have the fastest workflow possible because for the people that want to colorize them in Illustrator. Now you could always just, you know, make your shapes, throw them in, you know, copy paste them in Photoshop and recolor them. But um, if you're somebody who likes to keep their workflow in Illustrator, um, I go through this in another video. Basically, I had to figure out 
how to colorize an image brush in Illustrator, which it hasn't been done before, but this by using this um, technique that I figured out, I found a way to make it happen. And so it's all about making your workflow like really easy in Illustrator. So for example, I'm just going to touch, let's see here. I'm gonna copy these over to my artboard because I'm gonna work with this brush right now. So I'll select those two and I'll copy that. And I kind of use those two as like my masters. So when you're painting, like say you were wanting to get into colors here and you want to um, like have some, make a shape but then colorize it. Um, first off, you want to always paint in the, you know, use the paintbrush in the gold and then we'll do color later separately. So I'm going to select this gold brush so that that way the next brush stroke I have will be this brush stroke. So let me just make a very simple shape like a heart. There we go. It looks cool. And uh, you know, like this is something, wow, you can just, you know, you just did this in two strokes and it looks like you, you know, could have spent a lot of time on it. So that's really cool. But say I want to colorize it now. Um, I work, you know, say I work primarily in Illustrator. Like if I'm in Photoshop, if I'm a Photoshop user, I'll just copy this, paste it in Photoshop into my, you know, in, into my document that I'm working on and recolor it there. But if I'm in Illustrator, that's where these pre-colored copy and paste brush charts come in handy. I've already set this up and it's got this new four layer brush technology so that you can control not only the color, but the intensity and the darkness of that color. So I'm just gonna select this and then take my eyedropper tool and click on this brush and it's instantly gonna colorize it for me. So that's amazing. But of course, probably you don't want this purple. So for the easiest thing you do, select these strokes because they're gonna have the same stroke and we're gonna go to our appearance panel and that's up here on the top. Um, it's right here for me. If you don't see it, go Windows and then click on Appearance and it will pop up. So let's move this over a little bit. And I'll give you a quick breakdown on the four brush stroke technology that allows you to colorize this and control the darkness and intensity. Basically, I took this image brush, the base, it's like a layered brush. So I've got the gold one on the bottom and I've got two black ones that are on different blend modes to darken that and change the intensity and then the top I've got it in my color. So for the easiest um, people that you know want the easiest thing you just go here to the top stroke and make sure that this is selected. If it's not open just click the little triangle here and open it. Um, actually you don't really even need that for this. It's already colored so all you do is you click with it here and then you can pick the color that you want and it will instantly colorize it for you. And uh, you can have fun with that. Or you could even use your this color um, spectrum and play around and click within here and find a brush color that you really love. Um, so it's really that easy to colorize it. But not only that, you can also adjust the intensity and the darkness. And the intensity is, if you look here, there's four strokes. There's no fill on this. There's a stroke here, the gold one. This is intensity. This is more of the darkness, and then this is the color. So I'm going to go to my second one here. It's got a 50% overlay. I'm going to leave that there. You can play with this opacity and make it a bit more intense or less intense, but I'll just leave it right about 50. That's fine. I um, The overlay mode makes it more contrasty, so I actually generally don't go over 50. But um, if you want to make this darker, then there's this third stroke here that's not turned on yet. And you can turn that on and look, it instantly becomes darker. And I've got a black layer of the stroke on with the soft light blend mode. And this is at 100%. Now, maybe that's a little bit too dark for me. I might want to dial that back a bit, put this at about 50%, something like that. So now you can see that I just colored this and I made it the color and intensity that I want and it's live. I can change the color again if I prefer, make it a bit of a red one, blue, and what have you. So that is the basics of using the color, um, the color modes. And what's cool is you could clear that out, change the... Um, 
clear that out and change it to another brush stroke or whatever, but I'll go into that in other videos. But this is the basics of using the colorizing technology. And um, here, just to show you here, I will, let's copy these over. Let me copy and paste. And say I wanna change it to another color. So I'm gonna select those, take my eyedropper, and I'll just go here. Okay, now it's that brush, you see? So it really is that easy, it's live. I can change my color again, um, all that kind of good stuff. But you want to do that, really just change it um, with these, these colored ones that are the master. Now, one last thing, actually I just changed my mind. I kind of make these videos up as I go along, as you can see. Um, say I want the stroke to be thinner. Well, I can select, um, actually, let me take my master because it's always your using these masters to, as a, to pick up the appearance off of. Well, if I scroll this one down, this is too thick. I want it too thin, thinner than that. So let me just take my master, let me resize it. And as I resize it, it's going to scale down the stroke and effect proportionately, which in this case is really good because that's going to help us because the, as you see, this brush stroke is very thinner than this one. So now all I have to do is select this, take my eyedropper tool and pick it from there and voila, my thing is now thinner and I have just a different, you know, a different kind of uh, look that I wanted. So um, it's really cool. And okay, so that's about it for this video. And then I'll just show you some more stuff in following videos.